Hey guys, welcome back to the Sal Patera channel. And today we're gonna talk about things that you might do on a cruise that will get you kicked off the ship. We'll be back to tell you all about it in just a second. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching the intro. Before we begin, as always, please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to our channel. Click the little bell notification. It lets you know when we upload new videos and really supports our channel. Now today, we're gonna talk about some things that you better not do when you're traveling on board a cruise ship or you'll find yourself getting kicked off the ship. Okay, the first thing isn't really gonna have you kicked off the ship, but it will get you denied boarding. So make sure you have the proper travel documentation. Now we made a video about this yesterday. I will link it right up above, and it's gonna give you all the documentation that you'll need in order to board the cruise ship at the beginning of your voyage. If you don't have this documentation, you will be denied boarding and you'll be going home, not enjoying your vacation. Now this next one, a lot of people are gonna disagree with me with, but I promise you, you're taking your chances now. Most cruise lines don't even allow you to bring plastic bottles on board because too many people were smuggling alcohol on board. And a lot of cruise lines have announced that they're now gonna start denying boarding for people who are smuggling alcohol at the beginning of their voyage. Also, if you get caught smuggling alcohol once you're in a port of call, they can actually throw you off the cruise ship for it. So don't take the chance over a couple dollars and a free drink. You're really not worth the chances. Don't smuggle alcohol on board. It really just takes away from everybody and gets your chances of getting kicked off the ship. Okay, this next one really affects our experienced cruisers. Lots of experienced cruisers try to skip the mustard drill. Now technology has really caught up with people because now they scan your onboard identification card on every cruise line that I know of to see whether or not you've went to the muster drill. And if you skip it, they'll hold a second muster drill later in the day, usually during the sail away party, which you'll end up missing. And if you miss that one, they can put you off the ship. So make sure you hit that muster drill, go to it, it's Coast Guard regulations, and in the event of an emergency, you're gonna to wanna to know what to do. Even the experienced cruisers need to go to this because every ship is different, and sometimes they change how they do the emergency evacuation. So, bottom line, go to the muster safety drill. This next one is a big one. When we travel, especially in foreign ports, but even on the cruise ship, respect the people that work and live on that cruise ship. You're a guest, so don't disrespect the staff. In fact, if you disrespect the staff, you could find a ticket home from your next port because most cruise lines won't allow it. Be respectful. So this next one actually happens all the time. You're on vacation, you wanna have a great time, you wanna drink, and you're certainly entitled to do so, but don't get so drunk that you're belligerent, cause a scene, cause a fight, or you'll find yourself with an air ticket home. Okay, now this next one isn't something that's gonna have you put off the ship for a behavioral issue, but should you get seriously ill, you could be put off the cruise ship. Most likely it's gonna be in the form of a medevac. So also that reminds me, make sure you buy that cruise insurance because a medevac is about $10,000. But if you were to get seriously ill, you could find yourself with a flight home, unfortunately, in a helicopter. Okay, this next one could have you put off a ship, but it can also just get you quarantined, and that is getting a stomach flu. If you get a stomach bug on a cruise ship, it's a serious thing because on a cruise ship, it can spread like wildfire. So if you tell the crew you have a stomach flu and it's not just seasickness, you could find yourself quarantined to your room for the rest of the cruise or even being sent home. So you wanna go down below and see what the I-95 corridor looks like or even the crew club? Don't do it because impersonating a crew member can get you put off the ship. It has happened and it does happen. So stay in the areas you're supposed to and don't impersonate a crew member.
Okay, this next one is obvious and also not so obvious, but smuggling drugs on a cruise ship will get you put off. Also, when I say drugs, it doesn't necessarily have to be illegal drugs. In some countries, you can go to the drugstore and get a prescription for like a pain medication. Well, if you don't have a United States prescription for it or you bring pain medications on board that you got in another country, that is considered smuggling drugs and you will get put off the cruise ship or quarantined to your room and you could find a flight home from your next port. Buying drinks for people under age is not acceptable, whether it be at home or on a cruise ship. And it does happen. Is it worth the risk? If you get caught, you could be again quarantined to your room or even worse, put off the cruise ship at the next port and you'll be finding your own way home. Stealing is unacceptable, whether it be at home or on a cruise ship. However, on a cruise ship, it might even be worse for you because there's a zero policy for stealing from the cruise line. And it makes sense. So if you steal and you get caught, you're gonna find yourself quarantined to your room, put off the ship with your luggage at the next port, possibly prosecuted, and definitely finding your own way home. Okay, so anytime you're away from home, sometimes things can go wrong and you might get a little frustrated. But use the policy of always get things with sugar rather than salt, because if you get upset with a crew member and make a threat to them in any way, the captain's gonna put you off the ship. It's a zero tolerance policy, just like a lot of the other ones. So threatening a crew member or getting overly anxious to a crew member and, and being rude to them is just not acceptable. And you kind of get what you deserve at that point. So if you threaten a crew member, you're gonna find your way home yourself. So these are just some of the things that you can do that will get you kicked off of a cruise ship. All the cruise lines are the same. The captain is 100% in charge of his vessel and he doesn't need to have a reason to throw you off. So if you do things that are completely unacceptable, you're gonna find your own way home. Now, that being said, Traveling on a cruise ship is lots of fun and exciting, and as long as you're respectful to most people and follow the obvious social rules that you would at home, you're gonna have a great time. You're not gonna get thrown off a cruise ship. These are just some examples of worst case, and if you do it, well, you kinda get what you deserve. So, please make sure you subscribe to our videos. We put out a new video all the time. Make sure you hit the little bell notification so that you'll be notified when we put up a new video. Also, if you have any suggestions of things that you would like us to cover, make sure you comment that down below, and we'll see you on the next video.